So, uh, yo, how was Cuba? Cuba was dope, man. Me and Tupac were kicking it, you know what I mean? We, uh, we are drinking. They don't have Hennessy there, so we were drinking Havana Club. Did you find any breakfast burritos down there? Breakfast burritos? I found one with Kelly Bundy inside. And I was like, alright. Did you fuck any of the food? The burrito. Just the burrito? Yeah. Yeah. It was what, pretty dope. Was it a regular burrito or a breakfast burrito? It was a regular burrito. Would you rather fuck a breakfast burrito or a regular burrito? Whatever one has Kelly Bundy in it. Okay. But the breakfast burrito had bacon or ham in it. Bacon's a little rough. Yeah, I don't know if I want bacon on my deck. I feel like a bacon-wrapped penis sounds great. Well, usually they're the ones from... <laughs> <laughs> There's a new invention. Bacon-wrapped dildos. It's like the bacon-wrapped <laughs> hot dogs. Like, you wrap everything in bacon, it makes it bacon so much wrapped better. Bacon-wrapped dildos, right there. <laughs> pause. Yo, pause. Mm. Bacon-flavored condoms. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but we don't fuck the condoms. Yeah. But we can still sell them. No, because that would... That wouldn't make sense. Unless we poke holes in them. Sell no condom podcast condoms. And we poke holes in them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fire. Yeah. There we go, right there. Shit, you are going to know, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, our fans, man, are awesome. Condom sales are down in Canada. Are they? I don't know, I just fucked around. <laughs> <laughs> I just put a post like that the other day. I, I, was like, I was like, on Facebook, I was like, shout out to our fans, fucking... Condom sales are down in Canada. <laughs> No, Cuba was dope though, man. Uh, actually, you you would be surprised. They didn't even have wraps. Like, not only were there no burritos, no tacos. There's no wraps. No. None. There's no. Uh, they don't cook their food with like no garlic or anything. So like, I don't know. The food wasn't bad. Like as bad as everyone says it was. Like would be, but um, it was it was a little bland. But it was good, man. The trip was awesome. You know. I don't know if I want to like. Put out there to the public all the like funny shit that happened but uh, there was some there was some good stories some good funny shit yeah so uh, i had this bartender named el poppy who was like our homie and he would always he's like always dancing for us every time i went up and ordered drinks and nice he, nice he was my, he was my dude you know el poppy i'm still saying gracias to everyone like for thank you when i get back it's like weird like i don't know how to like adjust back to the so my when, like, ears peeling, like I don't know if people on the you're, camera you're, can you're, see you're, it, but my skin's peeling. You called him uh, a, a poppy. Did you say like pause? <laughs> like, every time you say his name, did you say pause? Yo, El Poppy, pause. No, I don't think you would have understood what was going on there. <laughs> okay, so uh, but yeah. it was cool, man. It was cool. It was cool. Yeah, somebody like that people need to check out. I just recently checked her out. I'm kind of late on her. Um, she's been popping for a little bit. Uh, oh. Tiffany Haddish. I just watched like a little interview with her, and like man, like her story is like fucking crazy. Okay, so um, when she was eight, her mom got in a huge accident. So then like she had to like learn how to like fucking walk and do all that shit again. So like pretty much like she was saying like everything that her mom just taught her how to do over like the last eight years she pretty much had, had to reteach her mom had to reteach her mom and oh, shit. and and raise um her brothers and sisters holy so, shit yeah so like that's a fucking that's just a crazy story in itself but then like her perspective on life was just hilarious like, and, like shit like that and recently um people were trying to clown her because like she went to a couple different uh industry events in the same dress Really? And like, she, and she was like, "Yo, like, I'm getting my use out of this dress. Like, the amount of money I put into this dress, yeah. like, no, I like respect in. that actually. You know, what? <coughs> right? Because I always found that shit crazy. But a lot of time, it's like stylists, right? They pay a stylist, <laughs> and they don't ever actually wear that dress again because they don't own it. Right. So it's like people clowning, but it's like, you know, it's like the people who rent jewelry and stuff for events. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you look and fly, but it's like, you never see you wear that chain again. It's like, that wasn't your chain." You know, and like that shit's foolish. Like, you know, it's like Bow Wow saying he's it's all, like, it's he, like the a, private jet he owns when fucking. <laughs> it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's like us renting these shirts right now. We're going to sell these shirts to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> we don't actually resell shirts, we don't do that. Right. 
<laughs> we are in front of our fans right now. We shouldn't tell them that. You crazy fan. <laughs> Yo, you crazy. So uh, I'll have to check out some of her shit though. Is she funny? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, I was I was dying laughing. And then, uh, yeah, like I seen her on I seen the Breakfast Club and I started watching the Jimmy Kimmel uh, thing with her on there. She was talking about like fucking um. Because she's, she's doing a movie with uh, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay. And like I guess they invited her back to the back to her their house, and she was like, "Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm going to fucking have dinner with fucking <laughs> with the Smiths." With the Smiths. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have one request. If I was going to have dinner with the Smiths, I'd be like, "Yo, Jaden, you gotta clear the kitchen table right now." Like mid dinner, <laughs> yeah. and like I would throw an icon on my phone. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, did you see the video of Will Smith doing the icon mockery? No. Oh I gotta man, see that's that's funny. Oh, and so I, I'd like I'd ask him for like a collab effort. Jaden like perform it while Will Smith do the dance <laughs> with, the, with the grill and the shirt on. And I'd be like, Yo, matter of fact, let's move this out front. Let's do it in front of the whip. Yo, you see, um, Will Smith is now on Instagram. No. Yo, in what was it sixty-seven days or something like that? He made it to uh, ten million uh, followers. Holy. Yeah. So he wasn't on the gram before. He wasn't on the gram before. but He's like, just trying to stun on people. He's, he's, on, he's on there now. He's just but stunning. like, uh, yeah, I followed him. He's actually pretty fucking dope on there. Like, fucking. I was like, oh, check out some of his. So check out uh, Will Smith on Instagram. For Word sure. Up. Make sure you check out uh, Eddie G519 on Instagram. Marcellus Malone, M A R C E L L U S M A L O N E. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Breaking Records Radio. Make sure you, ladies, send your, your news to me. Uh, fellas, send your news <laughs> to Maloney. <laughs> <to Malone. laughs> send all your safari pics to Eddie G. Yeah. He wants to compare sizes with y'all. <clears throat> Yo, we already told him, like, I, I have the micro penis. There, like, just Google that. Yo, you should put on the screen right now the picture you painted with the micro deck. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's the penis Picasso here. If you ever seen that Netflix series, the guy who drew the dicks on the cars, that was Eddie G. It was him striving for bigger. 